You guys, welcome back to another Number Six with Cheese video in Italy. Today, we're in Trastevere, which is an epic neighborhood. We were walking along the river today and just exploring. It's a beautiful 65 degree day. And today, we're going to Trapezino. These were invented by a gentleman by the name of Stefano Caligari. And they're like a pizza pocket. They're wild looking, stuffed with all kinds of different stuff. You can get different toppings. So we're gonna go check it out. We've obviously never had this. They've been blowing up on Instagram. They're visual. Let's go. So this is like such a different thing. Hey bro, I didn't know it was like a meatball sub, bro. <laughs> you wanna switch? I'll switch with you. Bro. All right guys, we found a nice little spot on the stairs. Look at the branding on this bad boy. I got the uh, chicken cacciatora, which is I think chicken cacciatore is how they say yeah, it in yeah. English. I, okay, so I actually ordered that one because on the English translated menu, this said meatball with gravy, which terrified me. <laughs> Red gravy. But then it's clearly just like a, it's like a meatball sub in a pocket, and then Sean was a gentleman and let me trade him. Oh, well, I cried. He, well, he came out and goes, no, no, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> um, so very excited. This place is just like a little modernized like street food style in Italy. You don't really see a lot of this. Like, so this is really cool. So we're gonna get into this here and uh, let you guys know how it is. These were five euro each. All right, dude. Cheers. Cheers. Trapezino. The sauce is really good. The bread is really good. This is a brilliant idea. This is gonna be messy. The crunch on the outer bread, the dough is mm -hmm. so good. This reminds me of like, people mm. that I was growing up with would make these dips, like, or like, this, they kind of whipped like chicken, kind of dairy-y, like you could put chips in and stuff, or put on sliders. This is like kind of that like mm. white saucy chicken flavor in a crispy pocket. It's incredible. Huh? The way <laughs> It's just so locked in. Bro, this is really good. Dude, that meatball, show them that meatball. Dude. Look at that in there. Huh? Is yours really saucy? Yeah. It's so moist. And because this is so saucy and this bread's so great, the bread like soaks up the sauce, it makes it mm. just amazing. This is incredible. These mm. I think are their mm. most, their mm. two most mm. popular ones. So we got those. Dude, it's so good. I, this is better than most meatball subs I get in Chicago. Oh my God. What a perfect Bro. thing to grab. All right, so when we, this is our first time ever in this neighborhood and we walked kind of in the streets to try to find like a place to sit and we got to go back over there mm. because my God, this area is awesome. Everybody that I kind of told that we were going to here today, because I put on Instagram like that Corey and I were exploring this area, got way more DMs about this neighborhood than anywhere else. People saying it's like some of the best food they've ever had. Having been to Rome before, but not this neighborhood, this neighborhood is a, like a must come to. This is really cool. It's like the coolest street walking oh that I've been around. I thought mm. for sure I was gonna be a little envious of like no red sauce. This was blowing me away. The thing that might make that maybe better than this, because of the shredded chicken, I feel like you're getting more bites of chicken. I, this comes with one meatball. It's a big giant meatball. I haven't eaten this side yet. You wanna take a bite of this? Mm -hmm. I just want you to see like how different I'm sure the palate is. Mm. Oh, you know what that reminds me of? What? That's like chicken noodle soup. A little bit. And a bread. A little bit. Almost like a creamy chicken. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, what is that Campbell's one called? Is it called cream of chicken? Cream of chicken. Mm -hmm. It's literally like a cream of chicken. That bread's so good. Ooh. We cannot miss. I feel like the only reason I don't like bread in America or things that are too bready is because the bread's just whack. It's bad. Like, this is just all the. I'm not mad about any of this, like, overly bready stuff because it's such good bread. Italy is just <laughs> on a different caliber with talent, but I'm sure ingredients. Everything we've had just tastes so much more elevated. It's an elevated dining experience. It really is. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, really impressed by that for five bucks. Wow. And I heard someone say, what were you lying? That place opens like 2 a.m. So I think it's like a late night pop over. Yeah. You're blacked out. <laughs> you're just like, I want a meatball sub in a pocket. People can't be just lightly buzzed. They have to be blacked out. <laughs> oh yeah, that's, I'm sorry, my American is showing. You really showed your American. Yeah. Uh, also the first place where you didn't grab a beer and now I'm like disappointed in myself. I think now I want to like get one and walk around with it. You guys got to check this neighborhood out if you come to Rome. Last night we, like we talked about before, couldn't find 
like a late night Italian bar. So we've just been hitting all these Irish bars. We found maybe our new favorite bar in, the, in Italy. Yeah, two of them. And we wanted, <laughs> the, the one we went to for a nightcap, like the very last one they were closing in 10 minutes, we gotta go back there tonight. Yeah, we overstayed our welcome at both spots. <laughs> we were the but last we were, people but to you leave. Did. Okay, so Corey bust all the tables at the bar that we were at, like to I start. Did. He literally started just grabbing everybody's stuff and bringing it to the front of the bar because you have that Catholic guilt. My, my grandpa's that guy. I, my, my grandpa's always, Grandpa Wagner, he's always just like, there's stuff to clean up. Mm -hmm. You clean it up, it doesn't matter if it's yours or not. You just do the right thing. That's really, I just sat and watched. So I just grew up with them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're trash. That was truly like a mind blowing sandwich. Yeah, that was amazing. Like I am, I, what a, like, I went into this trip having things I wanted, but never truly researching so deep on the, like, the flavors of every menu that we do. So I didn't know I was gonna, like, eat a chicken cacciatore yeah, triangle. Yeah, that's true. I just kind of was like, oh, these restaurants are mm -hmm. good. I'll figure out what I want from there. All right, well, we've been doing it on this trip. It's a gotta stop, must get. It's pretty good, it's average, or just don't bother, skip it. What do you got? Okay, so the bread was perfect. It soaked up the juices while still being crunchy, while still being like not overpoweringly thick. Yeah. It was like fluffy and airy and amazing. The red sauce was great, the meatball was great, the price is right, and the fact that it's open late night, I feel like there's gotta be some great bars in the area. I yeah. feel like you should come here, walk around, grab some beers, get hammered, do this at one in the morning. <laughs> we can't because we're filming. This is a must come neighborhood. Yes, the neighborhood itself. And I, I would call this must come drunk food. What I would do is come here, get dinner somewhere else. Because there's so think, many amazing I think restaurants. I do a sit bar. down for dinner. This is like a quick grab a snack. And yeah, this is like, you're, I think you're hammered, go grab it, get out of there. <laughs> uh, must get, yeah. I think this is a good, like, if you want a light lunch and you're kind of like exploring the area and you don't really want to sit down, because we got two of those in a water for 11 euro. Like, another one of those boom, bam, boom. Even with a kind of a line, like, we were in and out of there in 12 minutes. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Uh, it was great. So I think this is a must stop neighborhood. And then if you if it makes sense for you to grab a snack or a light lunch, I think get one of those. Or if you're hammered, get one late night. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. All right, well, uh, upward and onward, man, here in Italy. The videos are going to keep on coming. We got so much to come from, from now. It's insane. Like, we're only on technically for us day two yeah because we're doing a couple of days so uh good stuff dude good stuff my guy